going to make um, the sage marsala sauce here. We've got our mise en place, our stuff in place, and we're going to go through our ingredients. We have a little bit of kitchen bouquet. It adds a little browning and flavor to your sauce. We have some shallots. Okay. We have uh, some sage, some that's chopped. We've left some whole for a garnish. We have um, manufacturing cream. Now, you, you will have a hard time finding manufacturing cream in a grocery store. You can use whipping cream. Okay. I've seen it very rarely, but occasionally. And we have some um, cornstarch, which we'll use as our thickening agent today. A chicken stock, which uh, we have made. And of course, Marsala wine. Um, in our uh, really beautifully uh, marketing bottle here. <laughs> uh, we're going to start out with um, putting a little bit of e extra virgin olive oil into the saute pan. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Uh, okay. When you're, you're sauteing, you use just a good olive oil. Now, if you, if you do use uh, extra virgin olive oil, it will impart a stronger flavor than the regular olive oil. Okay. So we're just going to lightly um, cook the shallots to bring a little bit of the sweetness out of it. Notice, surprisingly enough, there's no garlic in the sauce. We'll deglaze the pan a little bit with the marsala wine. And you can see that the shallots have browned a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, we've cooked the alcohol out of the marsala, and we're going to put in some of the chicken stock. These are, this is a two ounce ladle, so we're putting in four ounces of chicken stock. Probably, I would say the marsala that was put in was about an uh, ounce and a half to two ounces. And we're going to get that nice and hot. And diced up some sage. I like using fresh herbs rather than dried herbs, uh, just simply because they just have a better flavor. And just a little bit of the kitchen bouquet. The kitchen bouquet is very, very strong. Be careful. I would say that was a half an ounce. It's one of the things that this is going to do is give it a darker color. Mm -hmm. We'll put a little cream. The cream will smooth it out and will also act as a thickening agent. A little salt and pepper. And so you've turned the heat down a little bit on yes. that? Yes. Yeah. Once you put in all the... Once we turn, once, as you put in the, um, the cornstarch, we turn the heat down. Okay. Notice we have a nice gravy. It's not too thick. Mm -hmm. And it's not too thin. And we'll let that finish off just a little bit. So we can get a nice aroma here. I put a little bit of the marsala wine in a, a little bit of the cornstarch. Marsala wine in the cornstarch and mix it? Yes. Well, I took the catering call. <laughs> <laughs> um, we put in the... Cornstarch and the marsala wine? We mixed the cornstarch with the marsala wine. The classic uh, technique is to mix it with uh, water, okay? But you can mix it with a stock mm -hmm. or a broth, and you can mix it. You Our presentation, we're going to put a little bit of the uh, gravy on the plate underneath. There we go. We're going to pinwheel the chicken breast. We're going to cut it on the bias. I'm going to show it up so she can see it. There you go, that's perfect. You can see how it's layered nicely. Mm -hmm. You can see the prosciutto and the spinach and the cheeses. I'm going to put this on the plate. And dribble a little more of the gravy over. Let's get a nice little garnish on that. Some fresh sage. 